Every day we wake up to do deals. That's what we do. That's what we do. We wake up in the morning and we find the next deal. You put a deal on the table, if it looks good to us, we'll do it. So uh, today we're coming in, we're going to talk to Ben about uh, joining the fund that I started, uh, buy and sell houses at the foreclosure auction. Uh, so I was going to get him to buy in uh, to what I have uh, to offer. I want to partner with him on the higher end houses, uh, $300,000, dollars $500,000 houses. I know he's a big uh, trash talker, but I think I'm ready for the fight, so we'll, we'll see what happens. And that food I had the other day was, uh, it was fantastic. If I didn't think you guys were serious and real serious about your business, I wouldn't even waste my time. You know, and uh, you guys have been—you you guys were trained in New York, right? Well, so was I. So there you go. We know how to get shit done. Let me get my handle on my day, and I'll get back to you. And let's get together. Uh, I'll call you back, and we'll plan to get together. All right. Thanks. See you later. Bye. What do you want? I brought this guy in to talk to you. You brought this guy. Every person he's ever brought for me to meet has been a waste of my time. And time is money. I got no time to waste. Anyway, so what can we do for you? So I presented, um, I guess I have a uh, prospectus that I put together. Um, What's a prospectus? You know, so basically, it's a business plan. A this business is I plan? Yeah. I don't think I ever did a business plan in my life. Yeah. Are you listening to this big shop broker? This guy just closed a $6 million condo. Wow. $6 million for one condo he sold. There's a lot of stupid people in the world. An opportunistic value-based fund targeting foreclosed assets prepared for Benjamin Maller. Brilliant! First, table of contents. Disclaimer. Investment perspectives. LLC is a real estate investment company that markets and acquires residential real estate at reduced prices for immediate resale to the marketplace. You know, everybody in the world's doing this. How do you find your inventory? I scout every single thing that's coming up for that month. So I have a team Auctions, in county auctions, county foreclosure auctions. auctions. Right. But you have no direct connections with banks that are actually sitting with foreclosures? I wish I did. I bought a lot of foreclosures in 30 years. They're going to do it for a price that they can swallow. So I buy it from the bank. You go to the bank. Go to the bank. Well, I don't go to the bank directly. I buy it at the auction, which wipes out the debt. So you have, I used to go to auctions, man, with millions of dollars in my pocket and cash his checks, buying shit in California. You know, it was very lucrative, and you can do it if you don't have a lot of competition, but you have a lot of cash to put up. I've been buying them in the 100, 200, 250 range. But when you go up to the 300, 400, 500 million dollar range, your competition is like that. So what I'm saying is that if I partner with somebody like you, we can come in and we compete against one or two guys instead of against 10 guys. You have the cash to do it. I have the experience to do it. If we partner up, we make this thing happen. What are you looking for? What I'm looking for is $2 million um, to buy high-end properties. I'm talking about the stuff in Bel Air, the Davis yeah. Islands, uh, the stuff that we can pick up at a discount. Say it's worth a mil, we can buy it for six, either sell it as is, make 150 grand, or renovate it and put it back on the We would never turn over money. Normally, number one, we don't loan money to anybody. We borrow, we borrow our ass off. We borrow hundreds of millions of dollars, believe it or not. Because we work with the bank's money. That's a smart way of doing it. We would look at something. If you found a big enough deal where you felt there was enough profit in it for you and a profit in it for us, we'd look at it, we'd say, fine. We wouldn't blame you if things went sour because we'd have our skin in the game. We'd do our homework, we'd comp it out. But if you want to just partner up with new deals, you do the legwork, we'll do some legwork too. Because we're not going to throw down any money without physically touching it, looking at it, knowing what the hell we're going to do with it, having a plan. 
So, you know, all I can say is you get a deal, you bring it to us, we sit down, we talk about it. We're too big to want to stab you in the back and under and go behind your back. We don't do shit like that. We don't burn people. Uh, I would never have gotten anywhere in life burning people. But without a deposit at the auction, we can't actually take them from the You have time periods you have to meet with the auction. I'm aware of that. But you look at the deal first before you put the money down. So let's say I brought you a deal that we could buy it for 800 grand. It's worth 1.2, 1.3, you know, and we could just buy it and just turn it and make 150K. You know, if we like the deal, the money's not going to be the problem. I, I have banks that would like, love for me to sit on their board and approve loans, but I would never give myself that exposure. I know how to look at a deal and tell you how safe it is. So they'll even call me. The banks will call me before they approve the loan on a multifamily deal or even a hotel now to, to, to get my opinion before they fund millions of dollars. I bought and sold 150 homes, flipped them all. So, I mean, I'm not like some like first time investor coming to you trying to sure flip my not. first house. You know, I've been, I've been doing this for a long, long time. I can tell you right now, we're not gonna let somebody we don't know control any money. Sure. Unless how much do you got to put in? How much capital you got to work with right now? I'm coming to you, I'm coming to you. I'm not trying to insult you in any kind of way. What do you got? Like 50K. You must be living above your means like Danny then. You know, stop spending money on girls and fancy apartments in St. Pete and uh, you probably got a Mercedes sitting out there, right? So even if it starts with something I want to make money. You know, me too. Hey, me I deal with people I can't trust even. As long as I'm making money and I know they're going to screw me, I, I get ready for the screwing. You know, I just yeah, double up on the Vaseline. You know, this is Mike bonus right here. I'm going to tell you right now, it has to do with a house. If it has to do with a house or retail, this is the guy you're going to be working with. Okay. Who's that? Come on, sit down, what? right here. What? You're the shark, next shark. First of all, where, 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 who, who? Basically, I started buying and wholesaling property. Now, what I'm seeing is that there's a big opportunity in the higher end stuff, which I don't have funding for right now. Anything, anytime you get over $250,000, you're getting in another class of buyer. You get to $300,000, you get another class of buyer, they're more picky. Then when you get up over jumbo loans, you're dealing with a whole different buyer. You can make money on them, but they're the hardest properties to move. I'm all about buying right, though. So if I'm going to buy in the high end, I'm not going to sit there and try to be competitive. And, you know, no, no, no. If it's worth a million, I'm going to try to pick it up for 650. Go, so, bring us a deal. Every day we wake up to do deals. That's what we do. That's what we do. We wake up in the morning and we find the next deal. You put a deal on the table. If it looks good to us, we'll do it. I, I think we can really make some good money here. Mike, give him a card. Here's a card. Awesome. Here's a one, two. Very good. Nice. Uh, right, good meeting you. Yeah. Danny, get a job. You have passed your life expectancy. What are you still doing here? This dog's like 12 years old, times seven, makes like 84. Every time somebody comes here, they never want to leave. Just keep mooching. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I want to see Trump. Tomorrow, because I think he'll be a good laugh. How often do you get to see a guy that had the balls to run for president, and all he does is build some hotels and buildings, and uh, like he's brilliant. That means you could run the world because you you call the contractor, hey, build me that building over there on West 42nd Street, and call me when it's done. Bam, gets the building built. Hey, get over there and decorate that building and put a flag on it and put it, set it up as a hotel. Done. All he does is pick up the phone, call people, tell them what to do. I mean, you got the money and it's not that hard to do. You pick up the phone, you say, hey, I need so-and-so. Can you handle this? Do this, do that, do this, do that. He sits back, he tells everybody what the hell to do, and he looks like the big shot. That's kind of what I do. Confirmation that no worries agreement has no liquidated damages. The e-contract is silent with respect to termination. I don't even know what the hell that means. What the hell is a no worries agreement? You got nothing to worry about? Sure, you got nothing to worry about, I agree.
I'm asking you. You know what a no worries agreement? I'm worried that we don't have a no worries agreement. No worries is the landscaper for Boca. She wants to know if there's liquidated termination damages if they terminate the no worries landscaping agreement on the property. I'll buy that. All right, we're gonna read the comments because they commented, somebody's gotta read them. Nobody else is gonna read them but me, maybe Danny. Okay, Vlad, Vladislav Ivanov. Ben, I would like to meet your regards. D. He gave you the D. D what's the D mean? <laughs> it's a hard slogan for dick or... Yes, it is. Then why would he put that? I don't know. Maybe, Maybe he's gay. Accident? Stop. I'm just kidding. Maybe he needs some help. Who knows? Or but maybe you know, we should sit here and continue to work. Meanwhile, he's watching. It's he's done. watching the show. Oh. He gives his phone number out. And nobody does that, you know. Maybe the guy needs some help. Who knows? You know, the problem is a lot of foreigners come to this country and they get chewed up. Don't call. So uh, I'm gonna call him. Don't. Hey, this is Ben. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Fine. So basically, how can we help you? Um, well, I was looking, uh, you said that you were trying to find somebody who can follow you or who can uh, uh, buy buy your life or whatever, what's, what's the name for, I don't know, if you're retiring or whatever. Um, I'm looking for uh, starting my own business, I'm, I'm starting my cell phone business and just trying to find out what you're doing, what's, what's the logic behind uh, your um, your work. Where do you live, number one? Where do you live? Uh, Jersey, New Jersey. Do you have any money to invest in yourself? Uh, yeah, starting the business myself. But how much do you have money to buy apartments? Yeah, uh, no, I don't think I. Don't how about a house? You have you have enough money to go out and buy a house and rent it out? Uh, to rent, I'm renting apartments right now. Yeah, but starting starting the fundraising right now. Yeah. Okay. New Jersey. I grew up in New York. There is a million guys chasing after the same dollar that you are. But uh, it's hard in those cities. You know, what part of New Jersey? Yeah, it's a Jersey City. Oh. Um, but, um, it's close I've to been there. Uh, talking like, if I were talking to you two years ago, I would probably ask you for a job. But right now, I would probably, well, right now, I would just ask you, like, how, how to be rich, how to become rich. That's probably the question that how you how to become rich, how did you do it? Like I started the at the bottom. You build, you, you do one deal, and it turns into another deal, and another deal. Anyway, the point is, you gotta go to the bank, get qualified for an FHA loan, you only need 3% down. Then you go out there, and you find a guy desperate to sell a house, and maybe he'll even pay the 3%. Yep, yep, yep. That you gotta find the cheapest house in the market that you're not afraid to go to, and that's not in too bad a condition, and try to get it fixed up, and, and that's the first step. See how much money the bank will loan you and find your cheapest house. It's a yep. start. It's better than sitting around doing nothing. It's a start. Yep. That, that's true. Absolutely. Absolutely. We started in the roughest neighborhoods in Oakland, California. Okay. We started with crack houses. We fixed them up. We weren't too afraid of the neighborhood. We rented it out to the housing authority in Section 8. Our money was guaranteed every month to a low, from a low-income family. Uh, which, you know what Section 8 is? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. No offense. How long have you been in this country? Uh, it's about uh, it's about three years, two and a half years. 2013. Okay. All right. So you're pretty new. You're pretty new, and you know, you know, Section Eight is when the government pays the rent for low-income people. Yeah. All right. Find a local guy to help you find it. There's plenty of real estate agents, so you go online. Yeah, all right, all right, I appreciate it. All right, it. you have a good night and good luck to you. Thank you. All right, thank bye. you, bye. He's the only guy I have his phone number. Yeah. How about this? Anybody who writes the best comment and gives their phone number, I'm going to call them back. If you write a comment and it impresses me to call you, I'll call you, but you got to be willing to put your phone number out there. All right, adios.